Question number four, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Revenue. When was he first advised that employers owed $29.3 million? Order. Would the member start again without the interruptions coming from Thank my you, right Mr. hand Speaker. side? To the Minister of Revenue, when was he first advised that employers owed $29.3 million in contribution to KiwiSaver accounts, and what action has he taken in response to this? Mr Speaker. Oh, the Hon. Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, the statistics on contributions to KiwiSaver accounts are published and tabled in this Parliament each year as part of Inland Revenue's annual report. When employers don't pass on the deductions they are required to, Inland Revenue will take action if they are unable to resolve the situation and to implement a repayment plan. Supplementary question, Mr. Speaker. Uh, supplementary question, Grant. Does yeah. the member want to raise a point of order? No, because there's not really any point. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is it correct that 46,154 employees have not received the required employer contributions to their KiwiSaver accounts since the scheme began? 46, the Hon. Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I am aware of media reports to that effect, and at this point I have been un unable to verify them. But what I should... Well, those Order. figures weren't in IRD's annual report. What I would say is that that doesn't constitute the overall loss by those. Uh, and the high-level math on that suggests that the average amount owed to those employees... Uh, by that loss is about $229. Irksome, but not dramatic. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary order. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. So is he saying by that answer that because it might be $229 for one person or $2,000 for another, that it doesn't matter and that he can't be bothered following up with IRD to find out whether it's 46,000 New Zealanders not getting what they deserve? The Hon. Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker. No. Good question. You're not doing anything. What a supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is he satisfied with Inland Revenue's work to follow up the nearly $10 million of employer contributions that KiwiSaver account holders are owed, given statements by tax consultant Terry Boucher that IRD are too slow to act in these cases? Mr. The Hon. Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, yes, I am. That $10.68 million the member refers to has been accrued since the scheme began in 2007 and represents 0.06 of 1% of the total contributions to KiwiSaver. So while it is extremely concerning for those people who are affected by the non-payment by their employers of those funds, I am satisfied that Inland Revenue Department has a very speedy and uh, effective process for ensuring compliance by employers. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is he so out of touch with the lives of ordinary New Zealanders that he doesn't think that 46,000 people not getting what they deserve from KiwiSaver is something he should care about as a minister? The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, quite the opposite. I'm extremely concerned to ensure that the payments that are being deducted from employees' wages, and which are government guaranteed, by the way, are passed on to Inland Revenue Department. The employee contributions, which are government guaranteed, are passed on, and that where employer contributions uh, are not deducted, that they are chased up. I think we're very effective at that. And the evidence of that is the 99.9994 per cent collection rate that IRD is successful at. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Can he confirm to this House that employer contributions are not guaranteed, and what action will he take on behalf of the 46,000 New Zealanders who have not had money paid into their KiwiSaver account that they are meant to get? The Hon. Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I can certainly confirm that the framework that was established by the previous Labor government under Dr Michael Cullen, where employer contributions were not guaranteed, has not changed. I'm also very satisfied that Inland Revenue has extremely good processes for ensuring compliance uh, with the deductions. Question 